Welcome to Film Riot Mondays. Today we're answering your questions, so let's answer questions. For someone that is about to direct their first short film with a semi-big cast, what would be some tips to be cool, calm, and collected throughout the shooting? For me, experience has really been able to help me be cool, calm, and collective throughout shooting, starting small and then working your way up to bigger casts. But even when I've been thrown into the fire with things that were uh, way beyond anything I've ever done before. It's just a matter of making sure you do exactly that. You keep a calm and cool head no matter what. Even when you're panicking inside, on the outside, you stay calm, you keep your tone that way, and it'll trickle down through your whole set. Every production I've ever been on ever has had some major issues where I got very concerned whether we were even gonna be able to finish what we were there to shoot at all. Because it's so low budget, and uh, you, know, you don't have the options of coming back for reshoots or anything like that, it's always a matter of if we don't get this, we just don't have this. So on several productions, it came down to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This might end up just being a trailer that we're making here. Um, but you just, you don't show that. You you know, panic a little bit inside, let yourself freak out a little bit, and then you keep moving forward. There's, there's no point in freaking out yelling at anyone, you know, having any form of a bad attitude, it doesn't help you at all. What helps you is keeping calm and collaborative and just thinking, okay, what's the next solution in front of me? And then you just keep doing that, taking, putting one foot in front of the other. I remember in Lost, uh, one of the characters, Jack, has this whole bit about he allows himself 10 seconds to freak out and then he does what he has to do. And although it came from a TV show and it's kind of cheesy, I've kind of implemented that in everything that I do and it really does help. You just give yourself two seconds and then you just do what you have to do. How do you market a short film for today's audience with a short attention span? I don't know that today's audience has a short attention span in the way that people are putting it. I don't think people have this very tiny attention span no matter what. I don't think that's so much a thing. One of my short films that has the most views is Tell, and it's 30 minutes long. Of course, depending on what you're doing, it might shift a little bit. People have a short attention span for certain things that they've been conditioned to have a short attention span on, like anything pumped through Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, stuff like that. But... I think if you hook someone within the first uh, minute, 30 seconds, whatever it is of your project, then you have them. And I think that goes for anything, a feature film, something on Netflix. I mean, even podcasts, people don't want them short. It's not a short attention span thing. It's just uh, an interest thing. Grab their interest and you have them. How'd you find shooting on the C200? If you were shooting in RAW, was needing to change the CFast cards a real issue on set? Both me and my DP really loved shooting with it. We'll talk about that more. And uh, we definitely had to have a lot of cards and larger cards, but we didn't find any issue shooting that way than I have with any other camera that we have, even like red mags, flipping those out constantly as well. So I didn't really personally notice much of a difference, but I was directing and my DP didn't have any complaints. So I assume no. How can I get past my writer's block? I don't know. I don't know what I think about writer's block because I don't really have it and I don't really think it's a thing so much. It's kind of like, where's Waldo for me more than anything else? I get to a point in my script where where I get the general idea of where I want to go, but I can't find the specific bridge to get me there. So uh, it's a matter of discovery. And I don't see that as a block. I see that as you have to go on searching, meaning uh, go and look at inspiration, read things, listen to things, skip to another portion of your script, start writing there, and then that will shed a flashlight to that little moment that you need to bridge because you've done these things and, oh, that's perfect for that character. I've discovered this. And well, of course, this is going to be the thing I do here because this is what happens later. Another thing that I'll do sometimes is uh, I just need a break. I've been looking at this thing and living in this thing too much and I'll just shift off onto something else and work onto some on something else for a little while, which will you know, uh, give me some rest from this other idea and then I come back to it with fresh eyes and then start writing again. And then uh, other times I just write whatever it is, even if it's terrible, I just keep going and that gets me past that little difficult por portion and uh, and then later you can go back and you can edit. It's a whole lot a lot easier to edit than invent. So uh, you know, the way that people talk about writer's block, I don't really think it's so much of a thing. I think we're just in our own way. And for me, I've gone about those avenues and it's always helped me a lot. How did you come up with the name Film Riot? And at what point were you satisfied with the name? It was so difficult coming up with the name Film Riot. We went through so many horrible, horrible names, including one was Filmtastic, which I think we've talked about on the show before. It's just the worst name ever. And there was like a, a lightning bolt as an exclamation point on the end. It was just so, so terrible. Um, but you know, the idea behind 
the show Film Riot was an upheaval of how things are done, a, a new way of looking at things, my own way of looking at things, a rebellion uh, against the way things are normally gone about in the film world, and that's why we called it Film Riot, ultimately. Um, but uh, Ryan Vance was a huge portion in helping me just push toward the name Film Riot because I don't, I don't know. It's really hard to decide. And this is going to be it. This is going to be the name. This is everything. Um, you know, and, and he said, and he was totally right, the second you decide that this is the name of the show, you're going to absolutely love it. And the second that I was like, all right, fine, whatever, Film Riot is it. I, I, I loved it. It was just that was the name of the show. And that's been like that for every show that we've ever done. Uh, it's really hard to come up with a name, but you finally come up with one. You're like, all right, I guess this is the best one. And, and you have to go forward with it. And the second that you do, you love it because that's its name. Last question. What would you say are some big mistakes to avoid when moving into production on your first short film? For example, stuff concerning expectation, budget, crew, location, crafty, etc. I said it before, and I think the number one thing is to not bite off more than you can chew because you're just going to hurt the project, hurt yourself, and hurt the people that are there to help you because you might be extending yourself beyond what you're capable to pull off just yet because of your experience level so i would keep that very much in the forefront of your mind that way you're not doing something where you know you weren't ready to hit that level of production things fall apart and then it's going to be really hard to get those people behind you again so making sure that the next thing that you do yes you're stretching yourself a little bit yes you're challenging yourself for sure but it's something that you're not gonna slip and fall, it's just gonna be really difficult. Really difficult is great. I do that on every production, I make it really hard for myself, but I try to make sure I'm not making it so hard that it's gonna be a slip and fall situation. So that would be my number one bit of advice. Beyond that, get people who are experienced and know what they're doing, who have had to grab uh, locations in that way, pull in crafty in that way, and then more than anything else, just communicate with everybody and then just be very collaborative and make sure that you're treating everybody with the utmost respect. There's nothing more discouraging than having a pile of overdue paperwork just sitting there staring at you while you try to work or do anything you enjoy at all. Well, our friends at FreshBooks have their cloud accounting software that give you more time to do the work that you love and not feel discouraged by the paperwork demon. FreshBooks has been redesigned from the ground up and custom built for the way that you work. It's the easiest way to be more productive, organized, and most importantly, get paid quickly. The all new FreshBooks is not only ridiculously easy to use, it's also packed full of powerful features, create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up up to four days faster. You can see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. Of course, FreshBooks is offering a 30 day unrestricted free trial to film writers. Just go to freshbooks.com forward slash film and enter film right in the how did you hear about us section. Logo. So that's it for today, which means it's time to talk about what I'm watching. And currently I'm watching Martin Scorsese's Masterclass, which has been really fantastic so far. It's like having a film lecture from Martin Scorsese or paying money to go sit in a room with him for him to just unload all of his process and methodology and everything he thinks about film uh, right to you. And it's been incredible. It's very much like a lecture, not really hands-on, which it looks like what Ron Howard is going to be. But I've been absolutely loving it. So definitely check that out. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. Thank you.